So in IPF, the majority of patients uh, we don't highly think of as a, a genetic condition. Most cases of pulmonary fibrosis are what we call sporadic or random. I would say up to 80% of patients do not have any kind of family history or indication that they would have a genetic form or an inherited form of pulmonary fibrosis. However, in about 20% of families, there is a positive family history, meaning um, one, more than one person in the family with IPF or pulmonary fibrosis. And so, that's a, just a small proportion of cases, and I would say 20% of that 20%, we can actually find a gene mutation based on the genes we've discovered. We know that IPF is not a single gene disorder, and in the families, we call it familial pulmonary fibrosis, giving a nod to the fact that there is a second person or more. Some families have multiple family members, and men and women can be affected equally in these families. Sometimes they're generational, so multiple generations are affected. But it's more rare to have the familial form. And if you have the familial form, it's even rare to have a gene mutation that we can identify currently. So there's been a lot of research in the last several decades studying these families. And for humans, we have about 20,000 genes. Um, we found maybe about 10 genes out of the 20,000 genes we have to make us human uh, that are associated with the development of the familial form. And those are even less represented in the sporadic types or the single, single people in the family. Um, so the take home is, is that there's not a a single gene we can test for to see if someone carries it. It's a very complicated disease with even more complicated genetics.